Hello, my name is Johnny and I'm a guitar instructor. Today I want to talk about some fingerstyle guitar and I want to teach a short excerpt from a piece called Romance. Um, and it's a great piece for beginners who are looking to get into fingerstyle guitar arrangements and it'll give you some valuable tools um, to keep pursuing fingerstyle guitar. So I'll start off just playing the short excerpt. So, we're going to start off with our pinky finger on the 7th fret. And we're also we're going to go through all the notes that you'll need to play, and then we'll learn the right hand. And then we're going to go with our middle finger to the 5th fret on the high E string. So, this is also on the high E string. All on the same string. And then we're going to go to our index finger on the 3rd fret. Slide that down to the 2nd fret, and then the open E string. And those are all the notes you'll need for this. Secondly, we're going to want to talk about the right hand. Um, it's important to place your right hand correctly. A lot of players might anchor their right hand with their pinky, or maybe try to do like this, anchoring with their palm. I want to make sure that our right hand is floating over the strings so we can allow them to ring out. We want to make sure that our finger is angled correctly so that when we strike the string, we will get a nice full sound out of it, as opposed to which sounds a little bit lighter. Um, so in order to do that, we're going to rest our right elbow on the outside of the drum lead guitar, and we're just going to float our right hand right above the strings. Now let's learn this pattern that we need to learn. We're going to go ring finger on the high E string, or the first string. We're going to go middle finger on the second string, or the B string. We're going to go on our index finger on the third string, or the G string. And our thumb will play the sixth string, or the low E string. And we're going to do it in this pattern. two E strings, your thumb and your ring finger will be struck at the same time. And then we are going to go to the middle and then to the index, or to the B and to the G. So we're going to have this pattern going the whole time. The only thing that changes is when you strike the low string. And that'll happen every third time we cycle through it. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. combine that with the frets that we talked about earlier. So pinky finger on the seventh fret and we're going to strike the both these at the same time to start it off. If you have any questions at any time, let me know. And if I'm going too fast, you can always let me know. Um, so we'll do that one more time, just to be more specific. We're starting off with both of these strings, continuing the pattern. That's the third time through, and so we're gonna add another E string. So this part, you can remember it by each note gets one cycle through. So we get one, two, three, twice at the end. And the rest of the piece sounds like this, if you're curious.
Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.